Namaste yogis, welcome to the penultimate practice with me. Um, I don't know if I'll be continuing this tradition when I'm in Australia, but for whatever it's worth, uh, today I thought I'll do an old favorite, which is uh, Tai Chi inspired yoga. Uh, whoever's practiced this with me before has always loved it. Fair warning, it tends to be very athletic. It tends to be a huge cardio, especially towards the middle. So take it at your level. If you find your heart rate speeding up beyond a certain level and you want to take it easy, just find child's pose, get into child's pose. I think Ranjini, as always, has a little song stroke mantra for us. So Ranjini, please take it away. Samastha Loka Shankaram Nirasta deitya kunjaram, dare taro daram, varam, vare bhavatram aksharam, kripakaram, kshamakaram, mudakaram, yashaskaram, manaskaram, namaskritam, namaskaromi bhasvaram. Thank you. Thank you, Ranjini. It's always beautiful. And uh, just want to remind everyone, Ranjini is actually a trained classical Indian singer. So Indian classical, she's actually trained with some gurus. And I think she can actually make it to Bollywood, but she doesn't work. That's right. No problem. Yeah. Okay, so we start with standing right in the center of the mat, facing the long edge. So I'm not going to kind of spend too much time with a formal warm up because the golden seed, which is the first sequence that we're going to do, is a kind of spinal warm up. So, you know, we'll just go with the golden seed. So we'll just start with mountain pose. So push down equally into all four corners of your feet. Pull up your kneecaps, point your tailbone down, level your pelvis, increase the length of your spine. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and just get into your breath. And as you stay with your breath, set your intentions for your practice today. My intention is to lead you through the usual Tai Chi inspired yoga, which is Golden Seed, Advancing and Retreating Warriors, and Flying Dragon. Can get a little hectic. It can get into a little bit of a cardio. So please stay within your limits. The idea is not to push. The idea is to find your limit through your breath. So if you find your breath is just going out of whack, you can't manage, no point pushing through. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. And that's also with life. You really don't have to prove anything to every, anybody. You can decide that, yeah, you want to achieve something. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world. It's probably the universe saying, this is probably not the best choice for you. And at each point, you have the choice of either giving up and finding something else more worthwhile to do or going ahead, but with the knowledge that you are taking on stress. Is it worth it, is the big question. When you're ready, gently blink your eyes open. Get your feet to a little more than shoulder width apart. So one and a half shoulder width apart. Uh, and you can point your toes in, out, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Unlike the more traditional yoga that we do, you can keep your feet fluid. So you can, you know, as you progress with your sequence of golden seed, you can point your toes in, out, depending on where you find yourself comfortable. Get your palms at your third dantian, which is just below your navel, your fingertips facing in towards each other, like Ranjini is doing and your fingertips about one centimeter or so away. And just get into your breath. When you're ready, 
Inhale the energy from the side all the way up. So circle your arms up, cross your arms and push out and squat. So as you notice, Ranjini has kind of turned her feet outwards, which is fine. So go into as deep a squat as you can. Exhale, release your palms down, straighten out your knees into elephant, forward fold. Go as deep as you can and with each successive sequence, go a little deeper. Inhale, circle your right palm up, left palm down on the mat. If you want left palm to right foot. If you want your left toes point up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release back to normal elephant. Inhale, the other side, twisted elephant. Left palm up, right palm across, left foot, right toes pointing up. Exhale, back to elephant. So go in a little deeper. Inhale, if you want, bend your knees, pull the energy up, palms facing up towards the ceiling. And then when you come to your face, circle around your face. And then once again, palms facing up towards the ceiling, extend your elbows fully, maybe look between your fingers. Knees straight. Exhale to drinking bird. So circle your palms forward and all the way back. Chin up, forward fold, drinking bird. So try and circle your palms all the way forward as much as you can. Spread your fingers as much as you can. Next, inhale to rocking horse. So circle your palms back, down, and all the way up, bend your knees, arch your back as much as you can. Take your fingertips up and back, chin up, look between your fingertips. Exhale, back to drinking bird, straighten your knees. Back to drinking bird, feel the stretch. Release your palms all the way down, soft of your palms facing down on the mat. Inhale, pull the energy from the earth all the way up above your eyebrows. So keep your palms facing down and then push the energy back down and flip your wrist to your lower dantian back to starting position. Staying with your breath. So that's one full round of the golden seed. Hope you enjoyed it. If you notice the golden seed is basically working on your spine on a, like you're flexing and extending your spine. That's all you're doing. There's a little bit of a twist, but there's almost no lateral movement. So it's gently waking up the spine. Stay with your breath, get ready for round two. When you're ready, inhale, circle your arms all the way out, up, cross at your forearms and exhale, push down into stable horse. Take a breath in. When you're ready to exhale into elephant. Straighten your knees, reach down, maybe chin up if you like, or tuck your chin in, whatever works, as long as you feel the stretch on your back. Inhale, right palm up, left palm goes outside, right foot if you want, or left palm on the mat. Take your left toes up if you like to. It increases the intensity of the stretch. Exhale, back to elephant. Inhale, take your left palm up, right palm outside your left foot. Take your right toes up if you want. Exhale, back to elephant. 
If you like, bend your knees, inhale, pull the energy up, palms facing up. And when you come up to your chin, circle your palms around your face, push it up. Push the energy up towards the ceiling. So you should feel the energy going up through your feet, through your knees, through your hips, through your side torsos, and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, drinking bird. So circle your palms forward, swing them all the way back and then up and then back forward. Maybe chin up to kind of replicate the drinking bird. Exhale, rocking horse. Bend your knees, get into a deep, deep, deep squat. This time arch your back, take your palms up and back, look up between your fingertips. Exhale, drinking bird. Once again. And then release your palms down, soft of the palms facing down towards the mat. Pull the energy up through your center axis, all the way up just above your eyebrows, and then push it back down. So no need to flip your wrists, just pull it up and then push it back down. Turn your palms up to your lower dantia. Stay with your breath. Check in with how you feel now after two rounds. Staying with your breath. When you're ready, let's do one more round of the golden seal. Inhale, circle your arms out to the side, all the way up. Cross at your forearm, exhale, push down to stable horse. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, forward fold to elephant. Inhale, right palm up, twisted elephant. You can get your left palm outside your right foot or down on the mat, left toes up, exhale back to elephant, inhale, take your left arm up, right toes up, right palm outside, left foot, exhale back to elephant, keeping your palms facing up, inhale, pull the energy up through the central axis, palms facing up, palms facing up, pull the energy and then when you come to your chin, circle around your face and push the energy up towards the sky. Feel that energy go through your feet, knees, hips, side torso, arms, elbows, and then out through your palms. Exhale, drinking bird. Swing your arms forward, down, back, up and forward again. Spread your fingertips. Chin up. Next inhale, rocking horse. Bend your knees, arch your back, point your tailbone back and down, reach your fingertips up and back. Next exhale, back to drinking bird. Chin up. Release your palms down, this time soft of the palms down. Inhale, pull the energy from the earth all the way up to your eyebrows. And then push it back down to your lower dantian. Stay focused on your breath. See if your spine feels more awake now. We'll do one last round of the golden seed. Inhale, circle your arms all the way out, up, cross, and exhale, push down to stable horse. Reach out through your wrists, pull your fingertips back, exhale, dive down to elephant. Inhale, right palm up, twisted elephant. 
exhale, elephant. Inhale, lift palm up, twisted elephant. Exhale, back to elephant. Inhale, pull the energy up, palms up. When you reach your chin, circle your face and push the energy back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, swing your arms into drinking bird. Forward, down, back, up and forward again. Spread your fingertips, reach your arms forward and down. Inhale, rocking horse, swing your arms back up. Tailbone down and back. Knees are bending. Next exhale, back to drinking bird. Release your palms all the way down. Pull the energy up to your eyebrows. And push it back down to your lower dantia. Staying with your breath. When you're ready, release, get your feet together, shake it out if you need to. And we move to advancing and retreating warriors. So get to the top of your mats, keep your feet either together or hip width apart, whatever works. Um, I think I'll just risk going straight into the advancing and retreating warriors. In case you're not familiar with it, you know, for the first one, just kind of watch Ranjini and then she'll get to the other side of the mat and you can join in. So you'll, you'll, you'll be one, one side short, but that's okay. Get your palms to your lower dantian. Once again, I'm not going to cue your feet. Your feet can be as fluid as you want, as long as you keep moving. So Ranjini, if we'll start with the left foot. So you're constantly facing the camera. Okay, because we start with the right foot, you'll be constantly backing the camera. Okay. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Get your left knee up. Exhale, left foot goes all the way back and face the other side of the mat. Push your right palm forward, left palm back. And go as low as you can. That's your first advance. Collect your palms together, collect the energy together in front of you. Second advance to the front of the mat. So this is the front and that is the back. Keep your left arm forward, right arm back. Push through your left palm, push through your right palm. You can keep your hips as low as is comfortable for you. You can either lean forward as much as you want or you can stay vertical. Everything depends on where you want to take your practice. You want to keep it stretchy, lean forward. You want to make it more strength, stay vertical. Once again, collect the energy together between your palms and the third advance. This time, right palm forward, left palm back. Reach through your palms, reach through your fingertips. Stay low. Now you come to your first retreat. So get your left palm, left elbow down towards, get your right elbow down towards the mat. Get your left elbow down towards the mat. You're facing back to the front side of the mat. Protect your face with your left palm. Take your right elbow up and back. So you're twisting. Maybe try and reach over your left hip with your right palm. Try and look up towards the ceiling. Get your left elbow down, right elbow down. Retreat to the other side. Protect your face with your right palm. 
keep twisting, look up towards the ceiling. Slowly come up and your palms are facing the front of the mat. So both your palms are facing the front of the mat, but you're looking towards the back of the mat. When you're ready, huge circle with your palms up and come facing the back of the mat. And your palms together down in Dantian. So that when I say together, they're just in Dantian, which means one centimeter difference between your fingertips. So if you notice, Ranjani is now facing the back of the mat. So this is what I call the back of the mat. And I'll continue to call it the back of the mat so that there is no confusion. When you're ready, we get into the other half of the round. Inhale, circle your palms all the way up. Get your right knee up. No, 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 right knee up. Exhale, push your right foot all the way back. Get your left arm forward, right arm back. First advance. Right toes face forward, yeah. Inhale, collect the energy between your palms. Exhale, second advance. This time, left arm forward, right arm back. Push through. Inhale, collect the energy. Stay low. And this time, left arm forward, right arm back. Drop your left elbow down. Drop your right elbow down. Circle to your first retreat. Keep your elbow as low down towards the mat as possible. Protect your face with your right palm. Right elbows down, left elbow down, skirt the mat. Stay down, keep your knees bent. Protect your face with your left palm. Slowly come up, get your palms facing the back end of the mat. Keep looking over your right shoulder. When you're ready, circle your palms all the way forward. Get your back foot all the way forward to your Dantian. And now you've completed one full round. So for those of you who are not familiar with this, now you know how we do this. We'll try and get in three full rounds. So that was the first round, maybe four, depending on the time. Staying with your breath. Inhale, circle your arms up, get your left knee up. Now, when you take your left foot all the way back, you know your left foot has to face all the way back. So move into that. Exhale, get your left foot all the way back. Right arm forward, left arm back. First advance. Collect the energy. Second advance. This time, left arm forward, right arm back. Collect the energy. Third advance. Right arm forward, left arm back. Drop your right elbow down, drop your left elbow down. Stay as low as you can, elbow skirting the mat and protect your face with your left palm. Right arm circles back. Heart twisting up towards the ceiling, looking up towards the ceiling if you can. Left elbow down, right elbow follows. Skirt the mat as much as you can with your elbows. Protect your face with your right palm. Left elbow twisting back. Heart twisting up, face twisting up. When you're ready, come up with your palms facing the front of the mat, your face facing the back of the mat. Circle your palms all the way to the front of the mat. Bring your back foot all the way forward to your Dantian. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up, right knee up. Exhale, right foot all the way back. 
uh, to the front of the mat, sorry, and your face to the front. Get your left arm forward, right arm back. Collect the energy, second advance. This time your left arm is forward, right arm is back. Collect the energy, third advance. This time your left arm is forward, right arm is back. Drop your left elbow, right elbow follows as close to the mat as you can. Protect your face with your right palm. Left palm circles behind you. Circle your heart up towards the ceiling, chin up. Drop your right elbow down, drop your left elbow down. Protect your face with your left palm, right palm back. This is where it gets confusing. Now, get both your palms to face the back of the mat, your face facing forwards. Circle your palms all the way forward. Get your back foot all the way forward to lower down TN. Two full rounds complete. Stay with your breath. I purposely didn't give you a break between your half rounds. That's basically to make it more cardio. Staying with your breath. Let's do one more round. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Get your left knee up. Exhale, left foot all the way to the back of the mat. First advance with your right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, collect the energy. Exhale, second advance. Left arm forward. Right arm back. Inhale, collect the energy. Third advance, right arm forward, left arm back. Reach through your wrists. Reach your palms back towards your head. Drop your right elbow close to the mat. Drop your left elbow close to the mat. Circle around. Protect your face with your left palm. Right arm circles back. Look up towards the ceiling, heart circles up towards the ceiling. Drop your left elbow down, drop your right elbow down. Circle, protect your face with your right palm. Come up, get both your palms to face the front of the mat. Your face is remain facing the back of the mat. Circle your arms all the way forward, back foot all the way forward, back to your dantier. Try and make the transition as graceful as you can. Inhale, circle your palms all the way up. Get your right knee up. Exhale, right foot all the way to the front of the mat. First advance, get your left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, collect the energy between your palms. Exhale, second advance, right arm forward, left arm back. Reach through your wrist, elbow straight. Inhale, collect the energy between your palms. Take the energy to the other side. Third advance, left arm forward, right arm back. Drop your left elbow down, drop your right elbow down, circle to the other side. Protect your face with your right palm, left palm circles back. Inhale, your hard up towards the ceiling. When you're ready, exhale, right elbow down, left elbow down, circle to the other side. Protect your face with your left palm. Circle your heart up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come up, circle your palms to the back of the mat. Keep your face facing forwards. Inhale, circle both your arms forward, back foot all the way forward to your dantian. Since I can only see Ranjani, Ranjani, one more round, yes or no? One more round, okay. 
So stay in your lower down chair. Stay with your breath. Collect your thoughts, collect your energy. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up, get your left knee up and then push your left foot all the way back, right arm forward, first advance. Collect the energy, inhale, second advance, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, collect the energy, third advance, right arm forward, left arm back. Drop your right elbow down, circle across, drop your left elbow down and protect your face with your left palm, heart circling up. Drop your left elbow down, drop your right elbow down, circle to the other side. Protect your face with your right palm. Circle your heart up. Inhale, come up. Get your fingertips pointing to the front of the mat. Your face pointing to the back of the mat. Inhale, circle your palms back to your lower dante and back foot all the way forward. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Get your right knee up. Exhale, drop your right foot all the way back. First advance, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, collect the energy with your palms. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Second advance, inhale, collect the energy. The other side, third advance, left arm forward, right arm back. Drop your left elbow, drop your right elbow to the other side. Protect your face with your right palm. Exhale, drop your right elbow, drop your left elbow. Protect your face with your left palm. Inhale, come up, get both your palms face pointing back, your face facing forward. Circle your palms all the way to your lower dantian. Back foot all the way forward. And release. Stay with your breath. Get ready for what is arguably the toughest of the three sequences inspired by Tai Chi. This is your flying dragon. So come up to the top right corner of your mat. I'm going to ask you to take your left foot all the way back. So get it towards the back left corner of the mat so that you've got a stable white base. So Ranjini will just show it to you and then come back to standing. Yeah. Because what happens is if you keep your left foot directly behind your right foot, you're going to be unbalanced. You don't want that. You want to have a wide base. So Ranjini, please come back to standing to the top right corner of your mat. Your palms on your third dantian. Spine growing tall. When you're ready, Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Get your left knee up. And then left foot all the way back to the bottom left corner of the mat. Drop your palms down inside your right foot and then get into gecko. So which means keep bending your elbows, drop your heart down towards the mat. Right knee can fall out to the side, no worries. Push back up. Inhale, take your right arm up and across. Twist your dragon as much as you can. And you can be completely fluid. You can over uh, drop your right knee down. You can keep dropping your left heel down as much as you want to the outside, doesn't matter. So as you can see, Ranjini is completely overextending that shoulder, which is fine. 
Exhale, get your right palm all the way back, uh, down and get your right foot all the way back and up, grow your right dragon tail. Now, unlike yoga, you can arch your back. It's not, it's like a three-legged down dog. You can keep taking your right foot as high as you want. Get your right foot all the way forward again. And now the dragon will fly to the other side of the world. So start with your left palm going up, then your right palm going up. Circle across the world and land on the other side. Take your left palm up, twisted dragon. Once again, high for extend as much as you want. I'm not going to cue shoulders over the one shoulder over the other. It's not exactly yoga. So be fluid, find your flexibility. And within your flexibility, find your strength. So it's more on flexibility than on strength. Exhale, release your left palm down. Inhale, circle both your palms up and grow your dragon wings. So pull your shoulder blades in towards other, each other. You want your elbows to meet behind you. You want to take your heart up, very powerful position. Exhale, release your palms all the way down. Grow your left dragon tail. Take your tail, left foot up and back. And then thread the needle, get the left foot through your space between your palm and your foot. And yes, all the way in line with your right palm. Then release your right palm up, belly of the dragon, but keep taking your hips up. Reach your right palm across, maybe down as much as you can. Explore your flexibility. Feel the opening on your chest. Feel your heart moving up towards the ceiling and then exhale, release your right palm all the way back down. And then take your left foot all the way back and up. Grow your left dragon tail. Now get ready to fly your dragon. So your left foot all the way forward between your palms. And now it's like a, a warrior three, but you can keep your elbows slightly bent and your arms are to the side. Warrior three, your arms are next to your ears. This, your arms are to your side. When you're ready, lift off. Fly your dragon, reach through your right foot. Keep your elbows slightly bent, find that little airlift, fly your dragon. And when you're ready, drop your right foot all the way down, drop your palms down, collect the energy all the way from the earth and come up to your dantia. Stay with your breath. You might have noticed this gets very cardio very quickly because you're stretching out your arms. You're stretching out the meridians connected to your heart through your arms. They're on the insides of your arms. So your heart really gets working because the meridians connected with your heart are getting stretched. Find yourself on the top left corner of your mat. Stay with your breath. When you're ready, circle your arms all the way up. Get your right knee up. And then push your right foot all the way back to the bottom right corner of your mat. Drop your palms down inside your left foot. Drop your heart down to gecko. If you can reach your heart down, if you can't, no big deal. Your left knee can keep falling out. Inhale, come back up. Left arm circles up, twist your dragon as much as you can. If you notice, Ranjani is completely overextending her shoulder, which is completely fine. You're finding your flexibility. Exhale, release, left palm down. 
grow your left dragon tail. Take it up. Take your heart back as much as you can. Exhale, get your left foot all the way forward. Starting with your right palm, the dragon flies across the world and lands up on the other side. Inhale, circle your right palm up, twist your dragon. Again, overextend to the extent you want. Exhale, drop your right palm down. Inhale, circle your arms up and then cactus and squeeze your shoulder blades in. Open your heart up, grow your dragon wings. Exhale, release your palms all the way down. Grow your right dragon tail. And then Exhale, thread the needle. Right foot comes outside your left palm. Next, inhale, release your left palm up and across. Keep pushing your hips up. Stay with your breath. Be as stretchy as you want. You know you've got to get strengthen your right shoulder because that's what's taking all the weight. Exhale, release, left palm down. Get your right foot back and up. When you're ready, get your right foot all the way forward and fly your dragon. Left foot up, your left heel in line with your hips, heart reaching forward and down. Your shoulders in line with your hips. Keep your elbows slightly bent. You can keep it as a dynamic balance. You don't have to be rigid. You can actually imagine you're flying and then get your left foot down, drop your palms down, collect the energy from all the way down and back up to your Dan Chien. Go back to the top right corner of your mat and stay with your breath. Staying with your breath, collecting your chi, your energy, collecting your thoughts. What are you thinking about right now? When you're ready, inhale, circle your arms all the way up, get your left knee up. Exhale, push your left foot all the way back, drop your palms down, get your heart down to your mat in Gekko. Inhale, push back up, circle your right palm up and across, twisted dragon. Exhale, right palm down, get your right foot back and up, grow your right dragon tail. Exhale, get your right foot all the way forward and the dragon flies across the world. Starting with your left palm, following with your right palm. Dragon lands on the other side. Inhale, take your left arm up. Twisted dragon. Exhale, release your left palm down. Inhale, circle your arms up. And then cactus, grow your dragon wings. Heart going up. Squeeze those shoulder blades in. Elbows reaching in towards each other. Exhale, release your palms back down. Grow your left dragon tail. Reach up, reach back, get your heart back towards your knee. Exhale, reach your left foot, thread the needle. Release your right palm up, belly of the dragon. Open up, release your right palm up and across. So I think I've lost connectivity. Okay, I've got connectivity back. Exhale, release, get your left foot back and up. Draw your left dragon tail. Left foot all the way forward. Get ready, 
fly your dragon, right foot up, arms on either side, slightly bend your elbows, staying with your breath. If you notice Ranjini's left knee is bending, which is fine, you don't have to keep it straight. Exhale, drop your foot down, drop your palms down, collect the energy and all the way up. Stay with your breath. Inhale, circle your, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come to the top left corner of your mat. Inhale, circle your palms all the way up. Bend your right knee and then push your right foot all the way back. Drop down to your palms, gecko. Drop your heart down to the mat as much as you can. Push back up, left palm up, twist your dragon. Exhale, release. Get your left foot back and up, draw your left dragon to you. Get your left foot all the way forward. Starting with your right palm, dragon flies around the world, lands up on the other side. And right palm up, inhale, twisted dragon. Open out as much as you can. Exhale, release your right palm down. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up and back. And then cactus, squeeze your elbows back towards each other. Shoulder blades in and then release your palms back down. Grow your right dragon tail. Thread the needle, right foot across the other side. Inhale, release your left palm, belly of the dragon. Take it up and across as much as you can. Release your left palm down. Get your right palm back and up. Grow your right dragon tail. Get your right foot all the way forward. Get ready to fly your dragon, arms on either side. Maybe slightly bend your elbows. Stay with your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop your foot, drop your palms. Collect the energy all the way to your dantian. Come to the top right corner of your mat. Stay with your breath. I think we have time for one more full round. I'll be up for it. If it's too much, feel free to go into Charles pose. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Get your left knee up. Push your left foot all the way back. Drop down to your palms. Gecko, drop your heart down to the mat. Right knee pushing out to the side. Push back up, inhale, take your right arm up and across. Twist your dragon. Get your right palm all the way down. Get your right foot all the way up and back. Draw your right dragon tail. Get your right foot all the way forward between your palms. Dragon flies around the world, leading with the left palm. Right palm follows. Dragon lands on the other side of the world. Inhale, get your left palm up. Twisted dragon, open out as much as you can. Drop your left palm down. Inhale, circle your palms up and back and then cactus, elbows back, shoulder blades squeezing in, heart moving up towards the sky. Exhale, release your palms down. Grow your left dragon tail. Thread the needle, left foot across next to right palm. Get your right palm up and back. Belly of the dragon, keep pushing your hips up. Try and keep your knees straight. Release your right palm down. Draw your left dragon tail. Left foot all the way forward between your palms. Get ready to fly your dragon. Five. 
five, four, three, two, one. Drop your foot down, drop your palms down, pull the energy up to your dantian. Stay with your breath. What are you thinking about? Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Get your left knee up and then push your left foot all the way back. Drop down to your palms into gecko. Reach your heart down to the mat. Your left knee dropping out to the side. Inhale, push up. Get your left palm up. Twisted dragon. Exhale, release. Get your left foot back and up. Grow your left dragon tail. Exhale, get your left foot all the way forward. Starting with your right palm, dragon flies around the world. Lands on the other side. Inhale, right palm up, twisted dragon. Exhale, release your right palm down. Inhale, circle both palms up and back. Cactus, grow your dragon wings. Heart up, elbows squeezing in, shoulder blades squeezing in, chin up. Exhale, release your palms all the way down. Grow your right dragon tail. Exhale, thread the needle. Right foot comes across, outside left palm. Inhale, circle your left palm up and across belly of the dragon. Push your hips up, knees straight. Exhale, release. Inhale, grow your right dragon tail. Exhale, right foot all the way forward. Get ready to fly your dragon. Arms on either side. Your left heel keeps going up. Your heart keeps going down and forward. Keep flying your dragon. When you're ready, drop your foot down, drop your palms down. Collect the energy all the way from down. And hold on to your dantian. Stay with your breath. When you're ready, we'll just do one little yin pose, which I love doing with this. It's called the dangling. So just face the long side of the mat. Keep your feet about hip width apart. You can keep your toes parallel or pointing out pointing in, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And then keeping your knees straight, just fold forward. You can keep your back rounded, you can keep your back straight, don't really care. Your palms can be behind your calves, behind your ankles, or down on the mat, fingertips down. Or you can just hold on, cross your arms at the elbows and just remain dangling. So you're not even engaging your knees. Just try and keep your knees straight. And you're going to hold this for maybe a full three or four minutes. So let everything go. There is nothing to hold on to. You're just feeling that nice little stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings. If you want, you can lightly keep your fingertips on the mat. With no pressure to go further. Just stay with your breath. With each inhale, just fill your lungs. With each exhale, see if you can forward forward just a little more. 
and not by forcing any muscles, but by just letting go. That's all. So this is yin for you. Completely just allowing yourself to relax. I know there's some part of you that says, oh, please move. I can't hold this any further. Just notice who's doing the talking. Is it you or is it somebody else? And if you're talking, then who is listening? And scientists are actually now researching this inner dialogue we have with ourselves, this actual conversation that we have in words with ourselves. It is a strange phenomenon. And the more we pay attention to it, the more we realize how much of internal chatter we indulge in. And the moment we realize this, we also begin to realize all the other stuff that goes with the internal chatter, all the judgments. Oh, am I too fat? Am I too thin? Am I strong enough? Am I flexible enough? And then all the labels that go with that internal chatter. I am a man. I am a woman. I am a successful professional. Oh, I have achieved nothing in life. It's just chatter. It's just what you tell yourself. You can stop telling yourself all these things and, you know, a lot of pressure will just go away. Just like you stop thinking about your stretch and the pressure goes away. So I was distracting you with all my words and the stretch wasn't so painful after all. So it's totally up to you what you decide to think about. You can decide to have a positive internal chatter and be at peace with the world and ignore what people say if it's hurtful and just let them be. Or you can decide to have a painful internal chatter and go out for revenge and be steeped in anger and jealousy and grief and stress and God knows what, totally up to you. When you're ready, gently bend your knees, drop down, any which ways you like, you're most comfortable in Shavasana. So find your way into your most comfortable Shavasana. See if you can let go of everything all the stress, all the tension. See if you can begin to focus on your breath. See if you can even give up on that internal chatter. And if it starts, just notice it, that's it. Don't have to engage with your internal chatter. Just notice it. And then go back to your breath without judging yourself. When you're ready, take a nice, long, deep breath in. And as you hold your breath in, begin to wiggle your toes and fingers. Come back to the here and the now. Begin to feel 
the mat underneath of you, the air above you. And then as you exhale, bend your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice little squeeze, gently rock from side to side. Take your time, no rush. Roll over to your left. Turn your face down, blink your eyes open. Gently come up to seated wherever is comfortable. Palms in front of your heart, head bowing slightly towards your namaste. Give yourself a moment of gratitude for taking the time to be here. This is literally the best thing I do in the whole week. Spend one hour with the yogis. I hope this practice is as useful to you as it is to me. Namaste yogis, one last stretch, interlace your fingers, inhale, take it all the way up. And release. Thank you for being here. I'm going to unmute you and you can ask your questions. And I'm going to stop with.